ones, the gods that used to rule the earth. There's elements that are controlling the scenes today um, that are trying to fulfill all these esoteric prophecies. So you got to remember that Satan is the god of this world. Well, they were worshiping the fallen angels back then, right? They had the, the gods of old. These are the same ones that continue to be worshiped today by various different sects and, and you know, leaders of government and the members of the deep state. Um, that's why they do the rituals and what have you. But it started off back then, and these people are, are that it's been passed down from generation to generation, uh, this ideology, this belief system that this Antichrist, this Messiah, this, this um, person in place of Christ is going to come. And right now we're seeing that they're setting up his world kingdom to be taken over by him. Isn't it interesting the way Hollywood is beating this drum about the return of the Titans? Absolutely. Thanos, the mad Titan, uh, Sam Worthington, who was in Clash of the Titans and Wrath of the Titans, starred in a movie last year who went straight to Netflix called The Titan and the new Godzilla movie where they have rebranded them. They're no longer MUTOs, which is what, monsters of unusual size or whatever. Yeah. They've rebranded them as the Titans, the original and rightful rulers of Earth. Because again, presenting them as Titans, the original and rightful rulers of the Earth. The Titans are still around. In fact, I argue in my book, Last Clash of the Titans, that they are somehow still influencing things on this Earth, even though they are currently chained in the abyss. Revelation 9 says they're going to get out for five and a half months at the end.